restore former child soldiers and war affected children. To become leaders for peace through art therapy and rehabilitative care. Art and expressive therapy bypasses language. The kids here at the Peace Clubs have all either been former child soldiers or captives to the LRA. We've had children who were subjected to kill their own parents. We've had children who were formerly abducted and the children who were born in captivity. We have children, among us these children, who were forced to eat even human flesh. But even so, hope is not lost completely. The atrocities that these children have gone through, they truly don't have the words for. Trauma is often defined as memories frozen in time. Art gives them an opportunity to express what they don't have the words for. So it helps them to get out the pain that they have inside. And that can be done through dance and drama and music and art and storytelling. It provides a safer, way for children to share what they have experienced and to begin healing. One child will have the courage to share his story with others. This is a picture of me running from rebels. This is a picture of my house burning. This is a picture of my mother dying. They're able to do that in front of other children who have had similar experiences. Since Exile International was founded in 2008, We've had the privilege of seeing over 3,000 children restored. 755 local leaders and caregivers have been trained in trauma care programs. Exile International is making a difference. It's restoring lives through physical, emotional, and spiritual care, through education, and through leadership development, empowering children of war to become leaders for peace. It gives them freedom, and you see them come back to life again. When you talk to children in our programs, they're not talking about art therapy and how that's really changed their lives. They're talking about the gospel. So what we're seeing is grace coming full circle. We're seeing their greatest heartache becoming their greatest ministry in their own lives. Our hope and our dream for these children are really their dreams. When they begin you know, to dream about the future, we are able to tell what is in their hearts, what they want to be. We've seen them grow, we've seen them heal. We have 150 children in our programs who are actually going back to the very villages that they killed in. They're teaching others about forgiveness. Teaching other people about trauma care. They're teaching others about how they themselves found healing and how others can find healing. To create village peace clubs. They're talking about the gospel. They're talking about learning their new identity in Christ. In the Bible, they say if someone does bad to you, you should do good to them. In the process of leadership, I think I'm growing in my culture. People forgive bad acts and bad deeds. I know if I tell people this is what I went through, these are the problems and challenges I've gone through, if I shared my story, it would change the lives of millions of people. I truly believe that the world can learn from these children. God can use their pain to create purpose in order to help other children who have gone through war. We want to dream big and we want to believe big that God can do even more. And that's our mission for these children, that they're able to receive healing with their mind, with their bodies, with their spirit, so that they're able to go into their life as a whole person. They have a new identity. They're excited, they're thankful, and they're beginning to dream. If the rest of the world could learn about survival at this level, and forgiveness at this level, and healing at this level, then the world would change, it would be different. To be an advocate for Exile International means to make these children's stories your story. And we want to invite others to partner with us to make that possible. You can go to the website, learn one child's story, and share that with someone who has the opportunity and potential to make a difference. And to pray that we can touch more lives for Jesus. We want to see this region transformed for the gospel and for peace. Our hope and our dream for these children are really their dreams, which is to be more than survivors of war, but to be leaders for peace. We're blown away at what God is doing. They're becoming new children before our very eyes. <laughs>